Emily, we'll be starting in a few. Awesome, thank you. Hi, Dr. Lopez. Hello. Oh. Yeah, no, I was going to stay here. Hola, Ashley, ¿cómo estás? Gracias por uh, uh, pasando uh, por esta junta. Ahorita vamos a empezar, ¿ok? Ok, está bien. Buenas Gracias. tardes.
I'll give people two more minutes, and then at 10 after, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Um, we've gotten updates from a few people saying that they won't be here. So it looks like we will not have Cora. And go ahead and start the meeting. It's going to be a session. Ms. Kern. You cut out a bit, it was a little difficult to hear your last part. You're freezing up and we can't make out what you're saying. You're on. Um, thank you for your patience with technical difficulties. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order at 512 now. Um, it looks like we do not have quorum, so tonight will be a discussion only meeting. Um, Dr. Lopez, are you ready for roll call or do you need a minute? No, we, we can definitely begin roll call. Thank you. Um, Jessica Kearns. Uh, Fatima Flamenco. She's not present. Uh, Ruth Cruz. Not present. Israel Flores. Present. Nestor Garces. Myself, Dr. Lopez. Anexis Cordova. 
I do not see her present. Rodrigo Gonzalez. It's not present. Victor Flamenco. Not present. Vanessa McKay. I don't see her present. And uh, Anthony Escamilla. Present. So I agree with Ms. Kearns, we have not reached quorum. This will be a discussion. Do you just wanna translate that for anyone? Um, buenas noches, como no hemos llegado a la cuota de miembros para el auxilio local, uh, solamente hoy va a haber una junta de información. No va a haber votaciones hoy. Tenemos seis. We have six people present today. Thank you, Dr. Lopez. Um, so we will have to skip approving the agenda and the minutes. Um, but we do have Emily here for public participation from Mr. Gozardi's office. Hi, everyone. Uh, I turned my camera on, but it might be a little delayed. There we go. Um, yeah, is that is now I should make a few remarks? Or yes, should I make you... a few remarks now? Okay, awesome. Um, I think I know most folks here, but again, my name is Emily and I work for State Representative Will Gazzardi, who is the state representative in the 39th district. Um, hopping on today as part of our office's efforts to tune in to LSC meetings periodically throughout the year, just to keep in touch with our local schools. Um, I've also been sharing our summer internship program with Principal Escamilla. That's gonna be starting later this year in June. And as of right now, I'm happy to share, we have seven applicants and six of them are from Foreman, which is awesome. We're really excited about that. So we are accepting applications through the end of this week. We'll begin interviews next week and we'll make a decision by the end of the month for our one internship position we have for the summer. So we're really excited about that. Um, and thank you all for your support in getting the word out to young people in the community. And as always, our office is here to help um, support students, staff and the community however we can. And as we have more summer events coming up, I'll be sure to share them with the principal to share um, with all of you. We will have a shredding paper shredding and electronics recycling day coming up in May, Saturday, May 20th. So as that date approaches, I'll be sure to let everyone know. And the representatives monthly coffee event is happening next Saturday at Chia Cafe in Logan Square, which happy to drop the info for that as well. So those are all my updates. Um, I'm happy to share those briefly in Spanish if that's uh, good. I see some nods, so cool. I can go uh, quickly through that. Hola, mi nombre es Emily. Soy de la oficina de Will Gazzardi. Estoy aquí como parte de el esfuerzo de nuestra oficina atender algunos reuniones para cada escuela durante el año. Um, algunos noticias. Nuestra oficina va a tener un intern este verano. Um, hemos sido aceptando aplicaciones. El portal cierre este viernes. Y um, en este momento tenemos seis aplicaciones de estudiantes en Foreman, que es muy uh, exciting para nosotros. También el representante va a tener su café con constituyentes el sábado que viene en Chia Chai en Logan Square. Voy a dejar la información aquí en el chat. Y últimamente el próximo evento comunitario es un día de paper shredding y reciclaje de electrónicos el sábado a 20 de mayo. Así que esos son algunos noticias de nuestra oficina y hoy estoy aquí solo para escuchar um, de, a noticias de la escuela. Y si podemos ayudar con algo, siempre estamos aquí. Así que gracias. Thank you. That's all for me. So I'll just be uh, listening in. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. We did not get any other requests for public participation. No, right? no other requests. Um, but I'd like to, um, do we want to uh, follow this uh, right now since we don't have quorum or can we go to 
uh, new business. I know we have one new member of our uh, student rep here, but um, since we don't have our right, we'll full... need to skip the votes. Yeah, and then we'll and then we won't really be able to. I, I guess we can have a um, an update um, of that CIWP. I was planning to have a, another update for that CIWP within my own report, but um, we can also keep it an old business, whatever you would prefer. Um, which is works better for you or for your report? David said he's happy to do either. Yeah, um, I guess we can we can have it now. David, would you want to unmute and just share um, a little bit about uh, the updates from CIWP? Yeah, could I present, please? Let me turn off this. You have the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I just have a brief update for CIWP. Um, and and so um, just a few slides to share from um, a few professional developments that, that um, we have attended. Um, I'm David Stahoviak, Assistant Principal um, at Foreman and myself and Lydia Paredes, um, Assistant Principal will be leading the CIWP um, this year. So CIWP is a three year cycle um, just for those of you who are um, who may be not too familiar with it, it is um, continuous improvement work plan. Um, and what it does, or the, the definition, is that it defines a realistic, attainable action plan around three strategies. It's three to five, um, typically three strategies that are able to be monitored and updated regularly um, to continue to improve our school. Um, it is not comprehensive of every budget line or activity, but the school, um, but it is aligned to our budget. So budget is still important. Um, so it is a three-year cycle. It runs from April 10th through September, and this is the planning process. So in September, um, our CIWP will be approved. Um, what we're working on right now is um, we are defining our CIWP team. Um, and there are four different, I'm not going to cover every bullet point here, but um, defining the CIWP team is important um, because it includes uh, the leaders who are responsible for implementing um, and uh, uh, working on the priorities, implementing a theory of action, um, and implementing goals that we will then monitor across the, uh, the improvement work plan. Um, I'm going to outline what the team looks like in, a, in another slide. Um, but what we then will work on as a CIWP team is a reflection on, a, on the foundations here at Foreman. And there's a template that's going to be provided by the by Network 14 that we will receive soon, in which our team will then utilize to um, really understand what our needs are. Um, we, we will do that via looking at data, both qualitative and quantitative data, um, and then uh, and, and working on needs that we, de we define um, for our school for the next three years. Um, part of the process, we, we determine priorities, and we're gonna be determining three total priorities. One of them must be in the instructional core, but I'm gonna also show uh, demonstrate a diagram here that'll outline what, those, what that looks like, um, and ultimately work on a root cause analysis, uh, meaning in short, like how do we solve the problems? Um, or, or the issues that we want to solve here at Foreman. I'm going to move on to one more slide. Um, within, a, a, after we develop our CIWP team, um, and then we develop our priorities that we're going to be working on, within each of those priorities, we work on a theory of action, um, an implementation plan, and setting goals across the three years. This is what our CIW uh, team, I move over to a different slide here. Oh, so sorry, this is um, our timeline. And so right now, uh, from beginning in April, we just started, we are um, developing and selecting our team and we're working on that currently. 
This is a team of um, eight to 12 members. I'm gonna come back to that slide in a moment. But the members, this is a CIWP team outline. The members should come from um, areas in our building from curriculum and instruction, from support, inclusive and supportive learning, connectedness and well-being. And so these three areas, I think of them as our ILT, our MTSS team, and our climate and culture team. And then also the area of post-secondary success and partnerships. Um, so ultimately, we we want um, eight to twelve members. One of those being an LSC member, um, one being a parent. Um, most likely, our three student uh, voice, our student representatives, um, and then anywhere from four to six other members of our staff. Um, from our either our PPLC or our uh, professional learning um, committees, such as ILT, Culture and Climate, and MTSS. Um, and then our administrative team is involved as, at, on this team as well. So that would be Mr. Escamilla, Ms. Paredes, and myself. And then just finally coming back to this slide here, um, as far as our timeline and development, and we'll have more reports as we move forward in for future LSC meetings. But after we select our team, um, we then work on a template reflecting um, on what our priorities are, are ultimately going to be, um, and then looking at root cause analysis for, uh, analysis for each of those priorities. So understanding like what, how, what our uh, goals are going to be through um, data uh, and, um, and a number of other tools that we'll use to assess how to accomplish our, our priorities and our goals. Um, and then we ultimately create theories of action develop um, implement, implementation plans for our priorities. Those priorities from our last plan are uh, MTSS, um, differentiation, and student engagement. Uh, those are the like the top, and then there's goals within each of those priorities. So we'll be reviewing our current CIWP, um, and then also uh, following this plan, making amendments, potentially creating diff completely different priorities or amending current current priorities. Um, and then this, all of this is due, this, this plan will be due in September. Um, and that's where we are currently. Any questions? All right, well, that's it for me. Okay, go ahead. Dr. Lopez, um, would you mind translating that? You could just translate your, the notes that you took. Sí, that's fine. Um, so, el señor Stojoviak es el asistente principal de la Foreman. Vino para presentar un poco de información sobre el plan de Foreman para los, los próximos dos años, que se llama el CIWP. Dio información sobre um, el proceso que van a empezar este mes de abril en colectando y recuperando miembros para participar en el equipo del CIWP. Uh, va a haber entre 8 a 12 personas que va a participar en parte de este proceso. Uh, los primeros pasos va a ser recuperar miembros de diferentes departamentos dentro de la escuela, uh, diferentes uh, grupos uh, instructores instructorios o académicos también. Por ejemplo, um, va a haber miembros de maestros o, o uh, personal que es, trabajan en el IOT, que es el, el plan de instrucción. Uh, miembros, uh, estudiantes que, por ejemplo, son representantes del el, uh, concilio local. I'm going to turn off my video for a second because there's a lot of feedback. Give me one second. Um, perdón, en, por ejemplo, los miembros, uh, los estudiantes que son miembros del concilio local también uh, pueden participar en parte de este proceso uh, para poder empezar a planificar uh, los nuevos pasos, reflexionando, obvio, en los pasos anteriores del plan viejo y viendo en qué cambios y qué nuevos pasos hay que uh, empezar para el nuevo CIWP uh, para septiembre. Quieren ya tener como más o menos un un draft o un plan um, que pueden ir empezando a trabajar y, y um, revisar.
Thank you, Dr. Lopez. Um, again, I just want to reiterate that it's a, a three-year process um, this after we complete our CIWP. Nada más quiero repetir que es un proceso uh, de, de metas y un plan que uh, se va a hacer para tres años. Es cuando, cuando ya votamos para este plan que vamos a aceptar en el futuro. So va a ser un plan para tres años. Um, so uh, thank you. Any um, other last minute things, Mr. Soviet? Nope, that is it. Um, Ms. Kearns is going to uh, be adding this presentation to the LSC folder so everyone will have access uh, for reviewing it. Okay. Um, I, one of the things, though, that this is... Um, uh, not an official, as we received an, a notice today that the, they're they're going to push back yet again a lot of these time frames and these dates. So I don't know how how worthwhile this would be to share out when everything will most likely change. So um, hoy recibimos una nota del distrito que es estas fechas y um, uh, el proceso va a cambiar. Otra vez, uh, so, um, vamos a dar información a nuestro concilio que es importante que ellos tengan, pero no sé si, no estoy seguro que esto sea lo más importante que, que tengan que uh, tener en sus notas. Uh, but thank you, Mr. Stojoviak. Thank you. I'm, um, I want to introduce um, Ashley Guzman Terón. Uh, she is one of our um, student reps who is playing a part, uh, a role in our LSC next year. Quiero introducir a Ashley Guzman Teron. Si uh, quieres decir unas pocas palabras de, de sobre tu interés en participar en este concilio como un estudiante, un líder de, de la escuela y un estudiante de la escuela. Uh, si quieres uh, prender tu micrófono o tu cámara. Okay. Um, buenas tardes a todos. Yo soy Ashley Guzmán Terrón, estudiante de Formen, estoy en el grado 10. Y pues fuimos seleccionados tres personas, creo que dos no pudieron estar hoy, pero pues yo trataré de mantenerme al margen de lo que esté pasando. Um, me gustaría poder apoyar en lo que venga. Si es necesario participar, pueden contar conmigo. Eh, también me apoya mi familia, entonces cualquier cosa que gusten platicar o les gustaría saber de parte de los estudiantes, con mucho gusto podrían preguntarme o algo así. Gracias, Ashley. So just to translate a bit, um, Ashley um, is one of three members she was explaining. The other two, unfortunately, could not make it. They had other commitments, but we will gladly be inviting them um, an upcoming meeting so that they can also introduce themselves. These are, again, our student reps for the upcoming school year. And Ashley says that she's looking forward to provide us with information on uh, the student side of things, and she looks forward to that. She's happy to have the support of her family in her um, um, activities in her activities at Foreman. I know something that she didn't mention was that she's also a student athlete here. Um, so she's also now participating on the leadership side of things aside from um, her um, sportsman side of things. So thank you again, Ashley. Um, any questions for her? Ashley, ¿te puedes decir que, en qué nivel vas? Um, estoy en el grado 10. So she's currently a 10th grader. Any, last, any other questions for her? Thanks for being here. Gracias por estar aquí por, con nosotros, Ashley. Gracias a ustedes por invitarme. Uh, go ahead. Um, as of May 12th, we will need to resume in-person meetings. So our next meeting will be before then. So we are able to go ahead and have that remotely um, or as a hybrid. Um, next month, if we would like, if we have quorum, we can go ahead and vote on any changes that we might like to make to the meeting schedule. If this day and time does not work for people, if they have to come in. Um, if we do not have quorum, we will not be able to hold that vote. And so the meetings will continue to be held on the second Tuesday of the month um, at five o'clock PM until further notice. Do you mind translating that? 
So, uh, ahorita, um, si, si se fijan también aquí, ahorita voy a enseñar en nuestro sitio de web, uh, en las fechas de nuestras juntas, uh, todo va a ser uh, virtual hasta que uh, tengamos nuestra junta en junio. Esa va a ser nuestra primera junta que va a ser, tener que ser en persona. Pero uh, aquí tenemos todas las fechas de nuestras juntas para, para el futuro. Uh, pero, um, would you, want, do you mind repeating what, you're, what you were interested in proposing for uh, the votes? Oh, I just want to see if we need to make any changes, if that time and day does not work for people to come in person. Um, so that we'll just give people the chance to say it. We need to move it. Okay. Ahorita nada más está uh, curiosa la, la chairperson Karen. Si queremos seguir con la fecha de junio de que va a ser en nuestra primera junta en persona, si realmente es una fecha um, satisfecha para todos nosotros para poder reunirnos en persona, o si están ahorita nada más dar su opinión en po posiblemente cambiar esa fecha. En... And of course, you all understood the English side of things. So if there's an interest, if you want to make a recommendation or just share your thoughts and opinions right now on that upcoming date um, in June, please let us know or unmute. Um, yeah, I had a, a slight concern just because uh, I get off of work at five. So sometimes I might be able to uh, commute, but it just makes it a little bit tougher, maybe a 30 minute extra would be um, would be able to get to the location, but just wanted to flag that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, so I will send out an email to the people who can't make it so that we, when we meet again next month, we can just have a proposal with the changes ready so that we can hopefully vote on that then. Okay. Um, any other comments before we move on to the principal report? Uh, did you want to make mention or bring up just to get people's um, thoughts on the proposal of um, trying to recoup this meeting and, and uh, perhaps scheduling a special meeting for the vote of fundraisers. Okay, I didn't know if you had seen that. Um, okay, before we move on to that, we do have an option because we had a handful of things that we wanted to vote on tonight, including two fundraisers. Um, we are allowed to, when we close this meeting, to schedule to reconvene within 24 hours. Um, would everybody be available to meet tomorrow afternoon just to quickly have a few minutes to go through and hold those votes so that we could move on with those things instead of making them wait for another month? I unfortunately will not be. Okay. I, I can be. And then I can also check in with the other members as soon as we um, end this meeting. Okay. Yeah, because we would still need to make sure we have enough for a quorum. Otherwise, there's no point in it. Um, is anybody else unable to meet or have a time constraint on that? Miss McKay. Oh, she said I can. She is available. Yeah, uh, this is your floor. I won't be able to make it tomorrow either. Okay. okay. Thank you.
Um, could everybody in the chat enter your availability for next week um, for a special meeting? Because we are able to vote on holding a special meeting just for approval for those things. Um, again, it will depend on if our availability lines up. Do you mind also um, texting the people who are not here? Mm -hmm. Maybe we could aim for the same time next week, next Tuesday afternoon. Okay. Um, we will come back to this. Okay. Um, and then so I could just sh um, share just some of my notes that I wanted to um, talk about within my report. Obviously, the voting we're going to skip. Um, so just some of the things that we're uh, preparing for in the upcoming weeks uh, based on our current CIWP priorities. Um, we are preparing, um, we just completed a professional development around differentiation um, by our instructional leadership team a couple of weeks back. Um, and we are now preparing for end of the year learning walks. Um, and we are preparing for learning walks that are gonna be taking place internally. So for us, by us. Um, and then also our network uh, is going to come in uh, where they bring in a team also partially made up by uh, some administrators. And then we will do a final end of the year learning walk to again, focus on instructional best practices um, and, and talk about what areas of need we need to continue to focus on and what areas of, uh, what areas of instructional practice we're doing uh, well on. Uh, within our C, um, so ahorita nada más estoy uh, dando información sobre nuestra preparación para los fines del, del año. Uh, nuestro distrito va a visitarnos, a visitar clases y darnos uh, datos de lo que ellos encuentran sobre las estrategias de los um, estudiantes. Oh, and uh, I just noticed Jacob Speaker was able, one of our uh, student reps was able to join. Thank you, Jacob. I'll, I'll get to you in one second. Um, y so están mirando las clases sobre las estrategias que están um, poniendo los maestros para mejorar la instrucción de sus clases y también nuestros grupos uh, internales de, de la escuela, uh, que es el Instructional Leadership Team, uh, el grupo de líderes de maestros que se reúnen uh, cada semana para poder um, platicar sobre estrategias que pueden implementar uh, sobre differentiation o diferenciación entre sus clases. So vamos a hacer eso en, en el, um, para terminar el año. Uh, Jacob, thank you for um, joining us. I'm going to, I'm not, not going to, or I'm going to stop sharing my, um, my screen for a minute here so that we can give you a proper introduction. So Jacob Speaker is, a, is another student rep who um, ran and um, was voted in by his Peers, uh, Jacob, if you have the ability to unmute or turn on your camera, just share with us a, a little basic introduction and what interested you in joining the student rep, um, uh, joining the the rest of your uh, peers and and these student and these student rep seats for the local school council. My name is Jacob Speaker, and I'm a freshman. Um, what? I wanted why I wanted to join the LEC is because I don't know. <laughs> um, I think I just wanted to make a change and I wanted to do stuff for my school. Thank you. Uh, está diciendo Jacob Speaker que uh, quiso participar para hacer hacer un cambio en su escuela y participar más como un estudiante de de Foreman. Any questions for Jacob? And he's a freshman, es del primer nivel de la secundaria. Well, thank you, Jacob. This was just a, an, uh, um, an introduction for today. 
but as you know, your role kicks into gear for the next start uh, for next school year, for the start of the next school year. So we look forward to continuing to work with you. Um, we're going to be um, getting together soon as um, so that we can put some plans um, in place right now that will help us start off the school year uh, properly next school year and, and uh, take full advantage of your ideas and make some of them come to life. Uh, but also just to put the plans in place with the rest of the LSC student reps. So thank you again for joining us. You're welcome. So I also wanted to uh, share a little bit of information of what we're doing around our our structures for our multi-tiered systems of support, which was also another focus of our of our CIWP priority. Um, we are now fully piloting on an individual level um, a system to monitor interventions and track progress that the school district is planning to implement throughout the entire district. We um, uh, were one of the strongest, and I feel proud in saying it, we're one of the strongest uh, high schools in Network 14 to establish an MTSS process without one existing in the district. And then the district now it has purchased um, and is partnering up with a company um, to pilot this um, software called Branching Minds. And so they asked us um, if we wouldn't mind piloting this uh, program as well as we have experience in, in our own systems. And so we, we did. And at the end of this quarter, we are now implementing this at an individual level. We started experimenting with this in groups uh, within our grade level teams, but now each individual teacher is going to be practicing the use of branching minds, uh, recording the interventions that they're implementing to support students, and then tracking their progress. Um, estoy orgulloso de, de platicar sobre estos sistemas de intervenciones para los estudiantes que están usando nuestros nuestros maestros. Uh, nuestra escuela fue uno de los primeros grupos de tener estos sistemas eh, de entre su escuela um, y el distrito tomó, tomó nota sobre esto y también nos vinieron con nosotros a preguntarnos si estamos interesados en usando este programa uh, el, electrónico por el internet donde podemos uh, mantener uh, el progreso del el uso de, los, de las estrategias que están usando los maestros y del progreso de los estudiantes. So, estamos orgullosos en, en, en tratando esto ya en este último parte del año como individuos uh, poniendo atención sobre nuestras uh, intervenciones o estrategias que están ayudando a los estudiantes. We're also looking at um, ref, looking forward to reflecting on some end of the year data. Um, as part of our structures, we uh, wanted to be able to provide students with the proper interventions using um, what we call universal screeners, things that would assess students' progress in reading and math. And we look forward to looking at some end of the year data to see our overall impact um, when we were creating these interventions. So estamos también con este grupo de maestros del, del equipo de MTSS. Um, vamos a ver datos sobre un examen que damos tres veces al año para ver qué tipo de impacto uh, tenían las estrategias que uh, pusieron los, los maestros para ayudar a los estudiantes. And, and finally, just uh, some feedback, and I wanted to give uh, Dr. Lopez the, the floor to share a little bit about um, any updates around the, the shaping of the cell phone and dress code policy as she's been uh, working with our student voice committee. I know our student voice committee uh, took a shift in um, adult uh, uh, mentorship and uh, Adam Hathaway, our English department chairperson, is also going to help lead our student voice. But Dr. Lopez, is there any update on uh, the cell phone and dress code policy that you can give us? Um, so, yo soy Dr. Lopez, solamente estoy dando un poquito de información sobre los policías de vestimiento y de celular el que el equipo de los lo, el comité de voz estudiante hemos estado trabajando todo este año uh, lo voy a decir primero en español después repetirlo en inglés 
Um, con el, el trabajo uh, que hemos hecho con, con los estudiantes del comité, uh, hemos hecho un, una póliza que está como en sus primeros pasos, está bajo la revisión del equipo de la escuela. Uh, también estamos abriendo uh, el piso para, para que los padres y miembros de la comunidad escolar pueden dar su opinión, sus opiniones también sobre la póliza antes que tratar de sumitirlo a, a in front of the Concilio Local para una votación. Um, so currently the drafts of the cell phone policy and dress code policy have been kind of circulating around the school for survey input in-house. And then we're working with kind of getting it out-house, right? Like within the school community, um, parents and families. And then we're going to bring it in a finalized draft version before the local school council for the ultimate vote um, or feedback. Thank you, Dr. Lopez. Um, and then I also just wanted to share this past month, um, we had a, a visit, we, cl we closed off um, our participatory budget program that our students ran in all of our civics classes. Um, and again, connected to our CIWP priority number three, um, our students uh, um, examined different parts of the school to narrow down how we can utilize a grant that I was able to receive from uh, Senator Cristina Pasioni Zayas's office um, and uh, of a grant of $300,000. And so our students did all the legwork um, in examining the school building and doing surveys um, and then narrowing down a, another voting procedure for our students to um, vote in favor of um, restoring our restrooms at the school. And so uh, the senator paid a, a, a visit just to chat with our civics classes um, to, to learn about their process and to encourage um, the students to continue in their ways of supporting communities through these types of participatory budget programs. And I look to investigate how I can bring more participatory budget initiatives here uh, next year. I've, I've already been working with um, the district to perhaps uh, qualify us for an additional 30,000, which again, I will put in charge our students who have the experience and then our staff now who have the experience in running these types of programs. So this is just an, an image of our of the Senator visiting when she came to chat with our students. Nada más estuve diciendo que esta es una foto de una senadora Cristina Pasionizáez que nos ayudó en um, en agarrar 300 mil dólares para apoyar nuestra escuela en renovar diferentes partes de la escuela y los estudiantes que puse en cargo fue, fueron los estudiantes de las clases de cívica y, y aquí esta foto es cuando vino la senadora a hablar con nuestros estudiantes uh, y aprender más sobre el proceso que ellos um, uh, exploraron este año en uh, usando esos 300 mil dólares. Oh, and this is uh, Mr. Stahoviak is going to present on CIWP again. I'm kidding. This was just a slide I had carved out for him at the end. But that is all I have to present. So we can go back to our um, agenda here. And I think we're, we're done. Unless um, you wanted to share or bring up anything else, Chairperson. Um, so nobody is here from back. Um, just does Nestor have anything to report on for FOIA? Um, Mr. Garces, do you have anything on FOIA? I know that um, I can also invite um, Miss Eileen Tracy to join um, and share anything about back or PAC. Is Anna on, Mr. Stohoviak? No, Anna could not make it. Um, I don't have any new information um, from PAC. We do have a meeting this Friday at 10 a.m. Okay. Um, I saw in the, we got a copy of the minutes from the last PAC meeting and it just went over that they did formally approve the architecture tour um, as well as transportation and food for the parents participating in that. Um, well, I, um, actually, so I learned um, two days ago that when this was submitted, um, that it is not being approved. So. Oh, okay. So, um, then we will wait for an update. 
Okay. Yeah, the the objective of this trip was to build community community with parents because we've had a difficult time right. um, getting parents together, and so parents were on board for this this uh, trip that would also include a lunch in which uh, parents could plan for um, and build community and plan for next year, um, but um, it was not approved um, by downtown. Okay. So they, we're, we're going to have to figure out something else at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for that update then. Um, do you so, mind just... Go ahead. You can unmute, Miss Tracy, if you want to share or highlight anything in particular uh, connected to PAC. I mean, uh, back. Yeah. Um, buenas tardes, todos. Uh, good evening. Um, just very quickly, we don't have too much. Um, first of all, we have 15 students taking the seal of biliteracy test on Thursday. Hay como 15 estudiantes que van a tomar el examen por, no sé cómo se dice seal of biliteracy, guys, so you're going to have to jump in there. Um, el jueves, es esa semana. How do you say that? Um, es un, básicamente un, pro, un los estudiantes estudiantes que están tomando un examen uh, que los van a ayudar a recibir crédito uh, de siendo profes, prof, um, que indica que son profes, profes I can't say it now It's, um, I'm not the only one un examen, un examen del lenguaje que indica que pueden hablar ese lenguaje en una forma uh, correcta, más correcta que yo um, so it's a, it's a, uh, again, uh, the point of the seal of biliteracy is to give students uh, a level of proficiency, um, hence this seal of biliteracy, um, that, um, different workplaces and colleges, um, acknowledge. So it's a, it's similar to getting and passing the AP, an AP language exam or getting dual credit. Right, and it's also it also shows that the students are proficient in reading and writing, and not just in speaking both languages. Most of the students are taking the test in Spanish. We have one student taking it in Tagalog. So también ese examen puede puede mostrar que los estudiantes que pasan uh, también pueden leer y escribir en los dos lenguas. Um, 15 estudiantes van a tomar este examen en español y tenemos un estudiante quien va a tomarlo en Tagalog. Um, the other, go ahead, sorry. How many Foreman High School people does it take to explain the seal of my literacy? Ha <laughs> ha. Um, <laughs> la otra cosa es que el 26 de abril vamos a tener el próximo uh, BAC, uh, Comité de los Padres Bilingües. Um, a las seis es virtual. We have a bilingual advisory committee meeting on April 26th at six o'clock. It's virtual. And we have a guest speaker from City Colleges to talk about the Avanza program, which is a program 
at Wright College and later at Northeastern, possibly, that um, supports students who are bilingual, the students who would be leaving a bilingual program and entering college. So it's important information, especially for juniors and seniors, but I'm going to encourage parents of all four levels of students to attend so they kind of know what's down the road and what expectations are and what the opportunities for their kids are to kind of support the idea of doing well in school. So vamos a tener una uh, presenter de Wright College y ella eh, va a hablar de un programa ahí, Avanza, y ese programa es un programa por los estudiantes de los programas bilingües que son buenos estudiantes, pero tal vez todavía necesita un poco de apoyo con uh, idioma o otras cosas y ellos van a apoyarlos cuando están en City Colleges y también van a ayudarlo a um, buscar por una universidad. No todos los estudiantes pueden entrar, um, pero um, es importante que los padres de juniors and seniors especialmente están en esta reunión, pero también es importante que los padres de los uh, estudiantes un poco más joven el, están ahí también porque ellos pueden saber las oportunidades uh, que están disponibles y ellos pueden apo um, apoyar sus, sus niños en la escuela uh, para, para seguir en un camino para, oh, I don't know, how to achieve their goals. They got metas. I don't know how to say achieve. Cumplir con sus metas. There we go. Okay. And uh, también vamos a tener una reunión, la, el reunión, la reunión final en mayo, pero más información de eso en el próximo um, reunión aquí. We're going to have a meeting in May. It's going to be a little special, a little different, um, but the details for that will be coming out later. And that's it for me. Thank, thank you so much. And thank just, you, guys. Thank you. And just um, uh, to notify uh, people, I'm not sure of what how these next steps are going to uh, proceed with one of our community members uh, on our local school council. But uh, Ruth Cruz, I think, deserves a, a, a big congratulations on her decision to run uh, for alderman of the 30th Ward and uh, um, discovering now in this last runoff election that she has um, won uh, the 30th Ward uh, aldermanship. And so congratulations to her. She, she mentioned to me that she was unable to make it today because she's running a community event, um, but she wanted me to simply announce, um, announce that. Um, so we look forward to hearing more about that and maybe she can um, help us with some recommendations of someone from our community that can help fill that seat pretty soon. Um, because of when she takes office, she will not yet be holding that office as of our next meeting. So she will still, I believe, be eligible to continue for that one unless she chooses to resign beforehand. I have to confirm that that is the case legally. Um, anything for PPLC? Mr. Garces, do you have something? Okay. Um, we are waiting for responses on availability from the people who are unable to be here tonight. So far, it looks like Monday at 5 p.m. next week will work well for those of us who are here. Um, so I will be calling a special meeting for that. Um, we just need to confirm that enough of them can make it for us to have quorum. So please keep an eye on your email since we have not yet heard back. Um, you will receive at least 48 hours notice, including with an agenda, and that will be posted on the website as well as at the school. Uh, but we will let you know as soon as possible. And it will be a quick meeting just to hold those votes. If anybody has anything else for the next meeting um, that they would like on the agenda, please email myself or Mr. Escamilla in the meantime, and we'll make sure that's included. Or Dr. Lopez. 
Ah, yes. Sí, uh, vamos a, a traerles más información sobre cuándo va a ser la próxima junta. Queremos, tenemos que, uh, que escuchar más sobre los otros miembros del concilio, pero queremos tratar de tener la próxima junta a, el lunes a las 5. Si tienen más información sobre uh, cosas, y esto es para los miembros del concilio, si tienen uh, información o cosas que quieren incluir en la agenda, por favor, uh, que se puedan conectar conmigo, la uh, señora Kearns o el doctor López, para poder uh, agregar eso en la agenda del, uh, de la próxima junta. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, to, does anybody else have anything else they would like to discuss, or do we have a motion to adjourn? Oh, that's right. It's a, yeah. Uh, unofficial. <laughs> yes. But then. Um, if nobody has anything else, have a good evening, and I will see you soon. Thank you all. Bye. Bye.